Hey, HIST 101 students, Professor Benlow here with a series of three short videos explaining the Unit 2 Discussion Board. In this video, this short video, I will be discussing the assignment in general. And then in the preceding two videos, I'll be going over the six topics that you can go over in the Discussion Board. The first three topics, the second video, and the last three topics, the third video. So, okay, away we go. Unit 2 Discussion Board. Remember, everybody, there are two important writing assignments in this course. This is the first one, the Unit 2 Discussion Board. The last one will be the Unit 4 Discussion Board. The Unit 2 Discussion Board is broken up into two due dates. Very important to remember. Firstly, your initial Discussion Board post will be due Friday, October 16th by 11.59, 59 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then your peer responses will be due Tuesday, October 20th, at 11.59, p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so your initial discussion board requirements, this is what's going to be due October 16th. The um, discussion board original post or initial discussion board post is broken down into three sections, okay? Don't get overwhelmed by this. Just take it section by section. And in this assignment you are going to be analyzing a primary document and you will be discussing the primary document now all of you are probably thinking well that's great that i have to analyze a primary document but what is a primary document a primary document is a document that was written during that era in history that you are studying okay and we are going to get into that for example there is a letter from presidential advisor richard goodwin to president kennedy regarding the bay of pigs and that is considered a primary document. A speech that John Kerry gave in front of Congress regarding the Vietnam War in 1971, that is a primary document. We're gonna get into all this. Okay, so your initial discussion post is broken down in three sections. And again, you analyzing a primary document, one of the primary documents from the list. So the contact section is worth 20 points. And there's several aspects to it. Firstly, you're going to name the document you chose to analyze. Who's the creator of the document? Briefly describe the creator of the document. When and where was the document created? That is the context section worth 20 points. Summary is worth 20 points. You are going to summarize the main points made within the article. What is the main topic or issue discussed in the source? What are the creator's main points about the topic? And what is one interesting thing said in the source? That summary. And then finally, connections is worth 15 points. How does the source help you better understand the Unit 2 learning materials? How does the source help you to better understand Unit 2 and Telepath? Does the source support what you already knew about the topic? Okay, if so, how? Or does the source change the way you think about the topic? If so, how? So that's the initial discussion post requirements for um, October 16th. So again, what is a primary document? A primary document is a document that was written during a specific era of history being studied. Within this assignment, you're asked to describe the primary document you read, the circumstances under which the document was created, and how the document still impacts us today. And if you want a little more in-depth explanation of what a primary document is, Click on these links. They are wonderful resources to give you a great definition. Okay, so the topic list that you can choose from, again, you have six topics to choose from. Only choose one, my dear students. Keep that in mind, one topic. And in the second video, I will be discussing Richard N. Goodwin's memorandum for the president, or the Bay of Pigs, John F. Kennedy's Cuban Missile Crisis speech, which is actually a YouTube video. And that is the Cuban Missile Crisis topic. And then in the second video, I'll also be going over John Kerry's statement of Vietnam veterans against the war. That's the Vietnam War topic. In the third and final video, I'll be going over the National Organization of Women's Statement of Purpose. I'll be going over Cesar Chavez talks in New York. So the Statement of Purpose, the National Organization of Women, that's the women's rights movement. The Cesar Chavez article talks in New York that covers the Latino American rights movement. An SNCC Vine City Project Black Power goes over the Black Power movement, Rise of the Black Panthers. Okay, so six interesting topics. There is plenty of research information out there on any of these. So just look at these topics and get into the one that you feel interests you the most. Okay, 
Um, we're going to be getting into these topics and they're very interesting. Okay, so on October 20th, you're going to have your peer response post due. You have to respond to two of your classmates and discuss their original post. And, you know, I love my students. You all are very supportive of one another, but just don't leave it as you did an amazing job, Doug. You answered all the questions. Um, I can't wait to read more of your work. Okay, while that's wonderful and incredibly supportive, you need to go beyond that. And you need to tailor your post to your classmates' post. And you should be answering the following four questions within your post to your classmates. What did you learn from your classmates' post? Are there connections between what you learned from your source and what you learned about their source? What is one interesting thing you learned from your fellow students' post? And what clarification do you need regarding the post? So if you answer all those, you will be doing fine. Okay, so the grading criteria sheet. On October 21st, when I start the process of grading unit two discussion board, this is what I will be using. So kind of use this as a blueprint when you're constructing your unit two discussion board assignment. So I'm gonna be looking at this. Context, student identifies the creator, including a brief description. Student identifies when and where the document was created. My comments, how many points out of 20? Summary, student fully summarizes the document, identifying the main topic, the main points, and at least one interesting detail. My comments, how many points out of 20? Connection, student identifies connection between the primary source and the unit learning materials. Student includes a discussion of how the source expanded or changed their previous knowledge. My comments, how many points out of 15? Peer response, student responds to at least two of his or her peers. You respond to two of your peers by the deadline on the 20th, you will get the 10 points. Response content, peer response adds new depth or insight to the current conversation and encourages further conversation. I feel encourages further conversation is pretty key. So my comments, how many points out of five? Academic writing, student uses proper spelling, punctuation, and grammar to write clearly and effectively. References, if provided, are in APA format. My comments, how many points out of five? I tallied up and put it over 75. Okay, tallied up, I should say, sorry. Um, and in connections, remember, you are stating how having read this document or watched President Kennedy's speech on the YouTube video helped you to better understand the Unit 2 learning materials or helped you better understand in telepath, how it helped you understand both of those, okay? So anyway, all right. Moving right along. So your initial discussion board post is due Friday, October 16th by 11.59, 59 p.m. Central Standard Time. And your peer response posts are due Tuesday, October 20th by 11.59, 59 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, I hope this short video has been helpful. The next talk will be going over the first three topics. See you in a bit.